friends and welcome to my channel the daydreamer plans my name is Christina and today I'm going to be refilling one of my fountain pens um, it's actually actually gonna be this pen right here it is a platinum place here it's an extremely affordable pen and it writes like butter it is so smooth um, it is going to be filled with this this is my only bottle of ink the only one I've been able to commit to and it is a Jacques Herbin and Grease Orage. Uh, if you're French and I butchered that, I do apologize. And my son, when he was younger, he got to it. He found it, even though I would hide this thing. And he chewed the wax top because I guess maybe he liked the texture. That would be my guess. Um, and he also messed this up a little bit. But that's okay. The ink didn't spill all over the place, so it's a win. And then these are all of my samples. Um, I need to use them and not just hoard them. But let's get to why we're here today, and that's to fill my platinum. I'm not gonna shake it like a crazy person because you're not supposed to, apparently. And um, that gold fleck settles really quickly. So I'm probably going to have to do that one more time. Okay, so here's my fountain pen. We're going to uncap it. Twist off the bottom part. We'll set these aside. We don't need them anymore. And here I have my converter. That's going to snap right off. Super simple. And I have a paper towel here. I was already doing some cleaning as you can see and see that that fleck already settled so we're gonna have to do this really quick and it's still really full so I can just dip my converter in twist and now it's full so easy it's harder with the uh, samples, actually. And from here, it's pretty simple again. You just pop that right back in here. Push until it won't go anymore. S screw the, uh, the body on and snap the cap on and there you have it. It is re-inked. It's just that simple. Gets more complicated if you're switching inks, which I do not do with this pen. Um, this pen is pretty exclusive to this ink only and that's because of the gold flex kind of getting stuck there. I've tried to clean it out before and it did not work. So, eh, whatever. So this pen is dedicated to my Jacques Carbin, and then my, um, uh oh, my Sailor is not inked up with anything right now. I'm waiting for a syringe to come in the mail so that I can fill this old um, ink cartridge because the adapters for these are stupid expensive. This one writes okay. It's actually not my favorite. I love Sailor pens and I want a um, slim one of these times, but yeah, I'm just not ready to throw down 80 bucks yet for a fountain pen. This is my Moon Man. This is currently inked up with, oh, that pilot, Iro Shizuku. This one's kind of drying out, unfortunately. I'm going to have to clean it. But as you can see, the color is really beautiful. And this pen writes so nicely. All 
right, this it has the Noodler's Tokyo Gift in it. This is my um, Twisby Eco. And even if I haven't used it in months, it always, it doesn't matter. It always immediately writes and is beautiful every time. I should reach for this one much more often. I just never have it inked up in inks that I like, which is my problem. And then this is the Noodler's uh, Tokyo Gift. And it is beautiful. I was looking for more of a hot pink. And this is not hot pink. This is more like, um, I don't know how you would describe it actually. But you can see it's, it's pinkish, but it reads pretty red at the same time. And then here is that beautiful Jacques. Urban. How do you spell it? Okay. All right, and that's all I have for you today. You got to see me refill my... Um, platinum it's pretty simple and I'm gonna go clean my moon man because um, I was just trying to get um, the ink flowing better and it is terrible so I think just my nib here needs to get cleaned really well so I'm gonna go do that and I will see you guys on Monday have a wonderful weekend and yeah see you next time mm -hmm.